I love the fact that you kind of saved the day. You get that <laughs> ship out of there so that they can go on to, you know, destroy Call. Right. Would you tell Chris Pine that? <laughs> that I saved the day? I'm telling you. Send him a note. I was cheering you on. Okay. <laughs> so what's it like to be part of a legacy that has been around for 50 years? It's a real honor. You know, uh, I, as a kid, um, and I don't know if you can relate to this, but I was an immigrant, and, and, and uh, I was in Houston, Texas, and I see George pop up on the television, and this is heretofore I'd just not seen myself on TV or in the movies. and. It was very, very impactful for me, and I've always had a special place in my heart for uh, the, that the original series uh, because of that primarily. And and I just think uh, you know Star Trek does um, puts positivity uh, positivity in the world. It's uh, it's predicated on peace and um, seeking out knowledge, and so it's a real honor to be associated with it. And unity. Right? And unity, yes. Uh, among all races, all backgrounds, all cultures, especially, yeah. that's kind of relevant today, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're living in a in fractured times and and yeah. people in and divisive times, and um, we can't seem to uh, focus on our commonalities right now. And so, uh, you know, this is just a movie, but. You know, it's a piece of culture, a pop culture that's putting something out in the world that I think is worth hearing. So, and yeah. I think the whole idea of diversity, right? I mean, Hollywood has been criticized for the lack of diversity, right? We've heard about this, the whitewashing yeah. controversy. You even tweeted last year saying, you know, this whitewashing stuff is bull yeah. expletive, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it, it's, uh, to me, the, the most egregious thing was just putting on yellow face that was very regressive to me but in Star Trek is just predicated on diversity you've got this very diverse bridge and um, they're going out and, and not just within our species but you know of course in Star Trek we're going to different planets and and uh, encountering different species and uh, green people and, uh, <laughs> and so, trying to make peace yeah so the the idea of diversity is like very broad in the Star Trek world yeah. And it makes, and to me, it makes uh, you know human differences that that much smaller. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, one other piece of diversity in this latest film is that Sulu is gay. Yeah, yeah. When you found out about that, what was your initial reaction? My initial reaction was uh, when it was pitched out to me. I had a few concerns. Uh, one was I wanted George to be okay with it, and I. Um, it didn't turn out that he was, but. Um, but, you know, I was concerned that he would feel like we were sort of lifting his sexuality, his sexual orientation for our purposes, you know. Um, I was concerned. Um, I also didn't want it to appear that we were saying, because Sulu is the same genetic Sulu in, in both timelines, that we were saying that sexual orientation is a choice. But, what, but it turns out that, you know, it, it was really handled very well, and I was concerned that it be handled the right way. And... It is very off the cuff and very matter of fact, and I like what it's saying. And um, in the way that I was encouraged by George's presence on television, I hope that um, young uh, LGBT uh, kids uh, who are struggling see that, and maybe it's a little tiny, tiny sliver of sunlight. One last question, really quick. We're out of time. Hashtag starring John Cho. What did you think about that? Um, I thought it was great. I mean, it sparked a great discussion. Um, it was a very clever and thoughtful, and somehow it got us talking about an issue that people don't really want to talk about. Yeah. All right. John, thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Cheers.